<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Bottle Limb and we are exploring the realms of fancy at the UK Games Expo 2016. Deep breath, my name is Ken Boyter and with me is... Mark Goodman. Mark Goodman and uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Okay, well uh, this is mostly Curious Games which is like a steampunk art company. Fantastic. And uh, we set up an exhibition for the show. We've got some Batman stuff and some Star Wars stuff. And effectively we're at the show for people to come and have a look, take some photos yeah. and, and just see the stuff we make. Yeah. Brilliant. So you're the lead designer? Yes, I, well actually I make almost all of the stuff. Okay, I have a little fantastic. bit now, but most of it is made yeah. on there, yes. And so where do you get your inspiration from? Well, well I mean the thing is, that, you know, like I say, with, with the Batman and Star Wars stuff that we've got here, yeah. it's, it's literally taking the image from, you know, the computer games or the, obviously the films with yeah, Star Wars, yeah. and then just putting sort of like a bit of imagination and then try and work with a bit of sense of humour. I was going to say, yeah, I've noticed yeah. the quirky sort of sense of yeah. humour going on here. Yeah. I mean, for me, steampunk, you know, it's, it's whatever you want to do with it, but it's not taking it too seriously. Yeah. So all of it is a little bit tongue-in-cheek, and yeah. then if people look at it with a smile on their face, that's a good result. I'm happy with that. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. And, uh, yeah, we, I noticed here you can't say, what's this contraption here? This is the BB-8 from oh, the new yeah. film. It's the droid, but it's a steampunk version, so rather than showing it normally, I've, I've, I haven't put the skin on it, so you can see how it would work in a steampunk style. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously the BB-8, it's incredibly popular with the film, so yeah, yeah. You know, that's one of the pieces that everyone likes to look at and film yeah. or whatever, so it's been really good. And so uh, what other sort of things have you got in your crazy head of you? Oh, loads of things. I've made a mouse trap game, um, and, and you know, loads of other things from different films. I've done. Uh, I did a big vault door from the new Fallout game that came oh, out. So brilliant. pretty much anything that exists, I can steam from getting somewhere or there. Fantastic. So if people want to get in contact, you've got a website. Yes, I have. I've got a website, and Facebook page. So it's all it's mostly curious games, or mostly CG on the Facebook. Okay. And uh, yeah, if my people have a look at my work, that would be great. Absolutely fantastic. Well, yeah, I'm bowled over by these because um, you know. I, I remember years ago as a kid trying to make things like this just from old plastic bottles and things like that. Well, you know, it's, so this is fantastic. It's just a progression on because that's yeah. exactly what I used to do. Right, you know, yeah, Lego, yeah. Airfix models, yeah. and and as a hobby business, I've just carried on doing it, which is great. So I enjoy it, and it's nice to let people come out. Like I say, people respond well normally, so yeah, that's yeah, a double definitely. bonus. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for that's looking at it. Thank you. Well, there we go, fellow Wims. Yes, steampunk. Have you into steampunk? This could well be the sort of thing that you need to go and look at. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, fellow imps, you've been watching The Bottled Imp, keep it unreal, especially if you're BB-8.